learners today you will learn about gulf of execution and elevation so according to donald normer he describes the gulf of execution as the degree to which an item corresponds with what a person expected it to do in other words we can say that it is difference between the intention of a user and what the item allows them to do or spot what they're doing for example a car that has the ability to parallel park itself would have a bulk of execution if the driver expected to push a button labeled park and have the car park itself and the car did not park itself now we will look for the gulf of evolution which is the degree to which an item supports the user in discovering how to interpret the item and interact with it effectively For example, the same parking example would show a gulf of evaluation if the controls were not designed in such a way that a driver could easily determine how to initiate the self-parking function. So here we can say that lesser the gulf of execution, better will be the user experience. It is basically process of evaluating what the item did and whether that action matched our goals or not. There are seven stages of actions which are goal. then comes the plan then comes specify proceed interpret and then compare first stage goal sets the standard that will be used later to determine if the action was successful or not and the next three stages such as plan specify and perform bridges the gulf of execution whereas final three stages such as proceed interpret and compare bridges the gulf of evaluation This was all from my side. Thank you so much for watching the video.